Yes, yeah, Seth, I'm here in Liberty County now in Dayton, and you can see by this road that we're looking at right now, it's easy to get into these neighborhoods, um, unlike some of the other areas we've talked about flooding in, but you can see along the sides, these ditches that are around these homes are completely flooded. There's also um, some creeks and rivers on this side, and they the water is very high. You can see that's also what's contributing to a lot of this flooding in these neighborhoods. Um, also, I spoke to Liberty County Chief Billy Knox, and he he says that this was not as scary as what they experienced in Harvey. So he said, um, though they're not in the clear, there is definitely flooding in this area. It's not as severe as what um, they expected a few years ago. He says that resources are prepared if they have to send out rescue teams. But um, as of yesterday, he said that they had one high water rescue that took place yesterday morning and the previous night. But other than that, he says everything um, looks to be in the clear as far as that regard, as far as safety for folks out here. We had a chance to talk to um, a couple that was living in Dayton Lakes. You can see some of that footage here and they actually were um, on boat coming out of their neighborhood. They said that they didn't get any water in their yard, but they still said that it's been challenging. It's not surrounded right now. Some of the roads are starting to get a little bit of water. You can see because I mean, we're less than a quarter mile from the Trinity. So I mean, there's people who have property right on the Trinity. So the water's coming through their houses right now. There's a lot of yards flooded, but as the water continues to rise, it's, it will get up there. And Chief Knox also said that again, they are prepared if anything goes the um, opposite way as far as more flooding that's going to um, cause some homes to be destroyed. He did say there are some neighborhoods here, um, such as the one we were in just a few moments ago in Moss Bluff, um, that road. Um, he said that some homes definitely got some water in them, but that is not the case for all the neighborhoods in this county. But we'll continue to, again, we're going to keep driving. We're going to continue to tackle these roads to show you where um, most of the damage is. But for now, we're just seeing these high creeks um, with water and, of course, the ditches in the area.